Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effect tutorial. Today we are going to create Kids Birthday Invitation Intro, like this. So let's get started. First create a new composition 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second. It's called main comp. Now create another composition. It's called cloud object. And change dimension around 500 into 300. Then select ellipse tool, and create a circle, move anchor point center of the circle. Then create multiple circles to make a cloud look. You can adjust the circle anytime if you want, I am just showing you example, you can take your time to make a perfect cloud. After adjust all ellipse go to shape layer, then go to add and select merge path, this is convert our all ellipse into one, if you see this type of error don't worry, just select ellipse and overlap them. Now create one more composition with same dimensions. It's called placeholder one. Then drag cloud object composition into timeline. And drag your footage below the cloud object. Select footage layer and change track matte alpha matte. Resize image if required. Now create one more composition, change width 500 pixel, and height around 1200 pixel, it's called photo 1. Drag placeholder 1 composition into timeline, then drag cloud object into timeline. Select cloud object layer and increase size little bit. Parent this cloud layer with placeholder 1 layer. Now create one more composition, width around 1200 pixel and height around 15 pixel. It's called rope. Then create new solid layer. You can choose any color which you like. Then create one more solid layer, and change color as you like. Select top layer, and search Venetian blinds effect. Change transition completion 30%. Direction 50. And width 30. So it's look like rope. Now go to photo 1 composition. And drag rope comp into timeline. Change rotation 90 degree. Select rope layer, and search busy or app effect. Now we need to animate this rope. Go to the first frame of timeline, and add keyframe on top left and right tangent. And also add keyframe on bottom right and left tangent. Hit you to show keyframe, and move tangent like this.
Now go to around 5 frame forward, and change the tangent opposite site. Then go to again 5 frames forward, and change tangent, do the same animation in multiple time, I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After doing animation, select all keyframes and easy ease them. If you think your animation going too fast, select all keyframes, hold alt and drag. Perfect. Now duplicate the row player. And move to opposite side. Right click, go to transform and choose flip vertical, so it's look like this. If you want to create some differentiation of our second rope, so you can delete some keyframes, it's all depend on you, I am just showing you example. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now, select both row player, and parent with placeholder 1 layer. Now animate placeholder 1 comp layer, hit P for position, go to few frames forward, and add keyframe. Then go to first frame forward and move placeholder 1 layer like this. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. Now we want to add some bounce effect on this placeholder 1 layer, so copy this bounce script. Hold Alt and hit stopwatch to show expression layer. And paste the script, you can download script from description, you can also change the amplitude amount to make more bouncy. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to main comp and drag photo 1 composition into timeline. We also want to make two more this type of cloud, so go to project window and duplicate photo 1 comp. And change name cloud text. Double click to open cloud text composition. We don't need this placeholder 1 comp. Now select text tool and add your text. And parent text layer with cloud object layer. Drag cloud text comp into timeline. We need one more cloud, so go to project window and duplicate cloud text comp. And change name only cloud. And drag into timeline. Double click to open cloud composition and turn off the text layer. Now go to toggle and switches modes, and turn on the 3D layer. Adjust all three cloud according to your choice. You can also increase the size of clouds, we need to increase the size of our photo clouds, so scale and increase the size.
and you can also increase the size of little bit our second cloud text layers. Adjust the all three clouds according to your choice. Create a solid background layer, and choose any color as you like. I think our background color merge with our rope, so I can change the color little bit. For little bit cloud variation you can move the layers, Now we add some wiggle expression on Z rotation. Select all layer and hit R for rotation. Hold Alt and click on stopwatch, and add wiggle bracket 1 comma 8. Copy this expression and add on second layer. You can also change the wiggle amount, to create differentiation. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we want to create outer animation, so select all layers and hit P for position, and shift T for opacity. Then add a key on position and opacity. Then go to around 1 second forward and change the Z position far from the camera. And also change the opacity 0%. You can move the opacity key if you want. Now we want to create second slide. Select all layers and duplicate them. And move them together. You can also change the color for difference. And move when our first slide layers will disappear. Now we want to change this photo one comp layer. So go to project window and duplicate photo one comp. Then hold Alt and drag Photo 2 Comp over the Photo 1 Comp layer, do the same with Cloud Text and Cloud Comp layer. Open Photo 2 Comp, then go to Project Window and duplicate Placeholder 1 Comp, and drag over Placeholder 1 Comp into Timeline. Open Placeholder 2 Comp and replace the image. Resize image if required. Now you can also change the cloud text as you like. And also you can move the position of all clouds. So select photo 2 comp layer, hit you to show keyframe, select all position keyframe, and move your cloud comp like this. Do the same with all cloud layers. Our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.